There we go. Perfect. But I don't want that creepy poster in our room. What's the matter? You guys like creep show? We just resent the way you're encroaching upon our territory. No, we resent his arbitrary use of patriarchal power. But Addy, violence is the supreme authority from which all other authorities are derived. That's not true. You're just quoting Starship Troopers. Kids, kids, the important thing is you should respect this poster or something bad might happen. Something bad might happen? Because we disrespected a movie poster? I don't know. It seems like something that might happen around here. Anyway, I'm heading out. I won't be back for a while. I'm going to lock you in and taking away your phones too. Bye. Why does he keep getting us into these situations? I don't know, but he can't stop me from disrespecting that movie poster. I specifically disrespect that movie poster without any regard for the consequences. Ah, who knew there would be consequences? I am the creep show creep. You know, the one from the movie poster. Yeah, we kind of figured that part out. You will be visited by five Creepshow monsters. Much like the ghosts in that Charles Dickens tale. But then they'll leave, right? No, you must defeat them. Are you one of the ones we have to defeat? Because we haven't got all day, you know. Uh, no, I'm more like kind of a host who checks in occasionally, stares through windows, you know, that sort of thing. Stares through windows? No wonder they call you a creep. So are we supposed to just wait for the monsters, or what? Uh, no, just sort of stay here and wait until you hear a sound. Oh, and if you could leave the door unlocked, that would really help. Seems legit. Bye, creep! So, Jillian, what do you know about this creep show movie, anyway? What, do you want me to explain things in exhaustive detail, or should we just let things play out from here and I'll explain as they go on? Well, any idea what might come first? Well, if it plays out like the movie, then the first thing should be a zombie. Oh great, the zombie's here and I left my bat down in the dark basement. Why do you keep doing that? I mean, the closet's right over there. Let's just get this over with. I want my cake! Ah! The creep show zombie! Real zombie, Addy! What are we gonna do? Relax, relax. We'll just give the guy his rake like he asked for and we'll send him on his way. He didn't say I want my rake. He said I want my cake. Dang it! Well, where are we gonna get a cake on such short notice? I think there might be some ho-hos in the kitchen, but I'm not going past that thing. Hmm, and I guess this thing doesn't count as a cake, does it? That does count as a cake. Where did you get it? Remember that surprise beach trip we were going to give Dad? Guess I'll have to wait another ten years. Let's just give the cake to the zombie, honey. I want my cake! Well, wouldn't you know, I just happened to have one. Here you go. Now I know what you're thinking. That beach theme's more suited for the other creep show segment but it's the best we could do on short notice. Let them eat cake. You had your moment, you missed it. So what monster's next? Godzilla, King Kong? You've never seen Creepshow, have you? I think I've made that pretty clear. The next monster should be Jordy Verrill. Jordy Verrill? Isn't that a NASCAR driver? No, he's a country bumpkin played by Stephen King. He slowly turns into a pile of weeds. Ah! Stephen King! As a pile of weeds... <sighs> Let's go get him before he calls his literary agent. <sighs> ah! It's a guy in a ghillie suit! Jillian, was that really Stephen King? Well, he does grow a beard every fall. Well, how do we defeat this pile of weeds? 
Well, if he's made of weeds, then we need something that can kill weeds. You know what I'm saying? But the lawnmower is in the garage. No, we use weed killer. That looks like Windex. Shh, he doesn't know that. Hey, Stephen King or Jordy Verrill or whatever your name is, we got something for you. You see this? Let us spray. Let us pray? Oh, let us pray, I got it. Ooh, I think he got some in his eyes. Ooh, I'm sorry. Not really. It occurs to me that we might have just cured Stephen King of his little weed problem. Forget about Stephen King. What's coming next? E.T.? That was last episode. Well, at least we know it's not going to be another zombie. We already had one of those. Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It's totally going to be another zombie. But it was- there was- who directed this thing? George Romero? Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It was totally directed by George Romero. <laughs> ah, another zombie, and we're all out of cake. You don't think this one would want to rake, do you? Let's just answer the door. Zombie! Wait, he looks kind of familiar. Perhaps you recognize him as Ted Danson from Cheers. Not what I was thinking of. Anyway, how do we defeat this one? I don't know, this one is kind of a revenge arc and we didn't do anything, except disrespect a movie poster. Maybe we can just send him back to the sea. You got an airplane ticket? No, because someone used all my points. Hey, I had to have that wig. Seaweed zombie, we don't have an ocean nearby, but we do have a pool in our backyard. Perhaps you should go check it out. And here, take this complimentary rake. So the trilogy of terror has ended. This isn't a trilogy, there's five segments. The creep literally told us that. So what's next? Some killer monkey-like creature that lives in a box? Actually, yeah, that's exactly what's next. Really? I was just pre-associating. Wow, that was quick. I wonder if he passed the zombie in the hallway. Perhaps they'll become friends. Perhaps maybe even more. Eh, I think Seaweed Zombie already has a girlfriend. Wait, I think it came from around the corner. Come on. Box? What's so scary about a box? That's the crate that the monkey-like creature is in. Well, we haven't got all day. Hey, monkey-like creature, come on out! <laughs> ah! It's, it's the crate monster! Well, I guess I'll go get the weed spray again. Wait a minute, didn't we defeat a monkey-like creature in a crate a few months ago? I guess that's possible, especially in this house. Well, how did we defeat him then? We'll just do it again. Because it worked so well the first time. I mean, he came back. Hey, if we can get rid of him for a few more months, that's good enough. We just tricked him back into the box using some Swedish fish and then shipped him off. Sure you don't need a rake? Oh wait, I just gave that away. I think these will work. Here you go, big guy. He's going back in the crate. Come on. This end's latched shut. We're good to go. Ooh, 
I think he's getting suspicious. Let's call the delivery service. That was weird. I mean, we weren't even wearing the same clothes. It's just one of those strange things that happens in this house and certainly doesn't mean we're recycling old footage. Yeah, that would be pretty lazy. Come on. Julie and I never sit on this side. This feels really weird. Well, this is a horror video, isn't it? I don't know, man. Don't worry, there should just be one more segment and this is all over. Is this the scene where we find out it was the butler all along? No, there's no butler in Creepshow. Well, who was the guy in the ghillie suit? He's not the butler. Well, I'll take whatever it is, as long as it's nothing too creepy crawly. Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It's totally something creepy crawly. All right, okay. As long as it's not cockroaches. You know I can't handle cockroaches. Jillian, why are you looking at me like that? It's cockroaches. Oh, let's just get this over with. Man, that's a lot of cockroaches. I'll be okay as long as they don't jump. <laughs> ah! They, they jump! Cockroaches, Jillian, everyone's least favorite form of roaches. Don't worry, don't worry, I have a plan. That's weed spray. Actually, it's Windex, but they don't know that. This better work, Jillian. Cockroaches aren't as gullible as Stephen King. There you are, scurrying around like a bunch of little cockroaches. I don't want to use this, but I will. So you gotta ask yourself, are you feeling lucky, punk? Eh, they do listen to reason. I think they were responding to the threat of force. Ah, so you do admit that violence is the supreme authority from which all other authorities are derived. Well, they were bugs and starship troopers after all. So that's it then? No more monsters? Unless the creep show creep comes back. Well, what's he do? He said he was just the host. I don't know, he like waves his hand and flies or something. Pretty lame. Wait, I think it's coming. Hey guys, how was your day? Did you spend it respecting the poster? Not cool, man. There were zombies. There were cockroaches. Hey, nothing wrong with a little tough love, am I right? You know, Addy, there is one more segment. Oh really? Is it one where the dad gets his comeuppance? Actually, it is. Happen to have a voodoo doll or anything? Hmm, not a voodoo doll, but this professor doll. Dad kind of identifies with him. That'll work. You know what to do. Sorry, professor. Ah, man, you guys are a real pain in the neck. Pain in the neck? Oh, that was really bad. Yeah, he deserves this. We got merch, yes we do, we got merch, how about you? If you like Jillian and Natty videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianandNatty.com, it's all good. So that was Creep Show in our house. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Natty, our main channel, and Jillian and Natty Life, our vlogging channel. They're a ton of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos like this one. And remember, stay scared. Bye. Where do those cockroaches go? They're scattered I everywhere now. Do you think they took the Swedish fish? <laughs> Did you see that?